What's up everybody, my name is Scarecrow Monster and welcome to The Sinking City. Now, before we start this game, um, as you all know, or as you all are guessing, this is my YouTube channel and it's actually a new thing I'm starting. So, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, I've always wanted to try going to the YouTube gig and, you know, the purpose of it is literally just to make people happy that watch my videos, just like, just like the YouTubers I watch make me happy every day. And so everything is new, you're probably gonna... I'm probably gonna find some stuff irritating about it like I don't have a great mic yet so my voice isn't gonna be perfect but I'm just here to have fun and I'm here to have fun with you guys so again if you guys have any and I mean any kind of critique about um, about me please it is greatly appreciated that you guys say so because then I just at least know what what I can maybe improve and what I can make you know a better experience for you guys watching also if you guys have any compliments Tell me, you know, a nice compliment is nice to hear here and then. What just give me the <laughs> the courageous uh, mindset to come back on and do another recording. But I thought I'd start my YouTube adventure with a game called The Sinking City, a Lovecraftian inspired game. Now, before we go into this again, I don't know anything about Lovecraft. I know about Cthulhu and I know a tiny bit about the short stories, but not that much. There's probably a lot of references that are going to be in this game that are going to go straight over my head. Any of you die-hard Lovecraftian fans out there, I do apologize. <laughs> but, like I said, I'm just here to have fun with this game. And, by the looks of it, I think I'm going to have fun with it. Anyway, without further ado, let's hit new game. Previous autosaves will be overwritten. I don't have any previous autosaves. What are you doing, game? Lying to me? <laughs> How dare you. Anyway, confirm. <sighs> Dear Mr. Charles Reed, guessing that's us, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont Moss. It turns out that the uh, uh, that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, uh, uh, similar to yours, a city drowning the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your align oh, ailment. Alignment. <laughs> I do apologize. And the person who. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that alignment thing. And the person who might uh, help you with it. Prepare yourself then, come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes van der Berg, or van der Berg. Whichever one of these, I'm pretty sure it's Thunderbird. The man eating eels don't care if you're strong so Oh, the man eating eels don't care if you're strong so I guess there's man eating eels in this game. I did not know. Let's get this started. No! Oh. Off to a great start. I don't like looking at myself anyway. Ah, I was part of the navy. Pretty cool. Hey, look at me. Ah, uh, oh, ooh. Okay, I was gonna say, oh, look at me. <laughs> I've got, got such a, such a nice, basically smile on me. I didn't expect to see some. Zo Speak no evil, man. I get you. Okay, you're probably having a panic attack. I'm sorry. Just as we were calm. Oh. Uh, hi there. Ah, uh, uh, don't jump, man. <laughs> there's nothing good for you down there. Oh, okay, there's apparently there's a whole city for you down there. A sinking city. Oh, <gasps> title of the game. God damn it. Another one. These stinking visions. Alright, so before I actually start recording this, I actually went through the, um the the tutorial so this is a gun 
you shoot things with this is enough. <laughs> okay. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Yeah, no, man, something tells me you're gonna have to as well, man. I mean, this isn't a horror game for nothing. Normally, in anything horror, you do normally attack the bitch. Oh my god, I'm a speedy bitch. Wahoo! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, Demon Strolls actually requested the. Wait. Her third division. Okay, this is just the loading screen um, later, isn't it? Yeah, this is the loading screen later. Okay. Apparently, that was my old bag. Oh, wait, was. No, this backpack was on this whole time, wasn't it? I just. Whatever. Okay, I guess I never noticed. Folding camera. Alright, yes. Cameras are now to use. So I read about this. You see that camera little symbol there? That means that's a camera I can take. So I go to my weapon wheel, which is L1. I select the camera. I point and I shoot. And there we go. Photo of a trophy plate. Which now I think gives me law. In my. Not my case book. My law. Here we go. City. Photo of a trophy plate. Trophy plate with a strange fish. Looks very lifelike. <sighs> there we go. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Oakmont Monolith National Park. Is waiting for you. All evidence collected. There we go. No, sorry, triangle to climb. At oh. last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you, uh... Johannes Vanderberg. Ah, Johannes. At your service. I did promise to. I like your suit. The moment you arrived. Ah, like the yellow much color, but oblige, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please <laughs> call me Johannes. Okay. But I like this where guy. are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. About nice suit, yeah, nice suit. I was gonna say it's a, it's a very <laughs> nice suit you're wearing there. I like it a lot as well. You kind of look creepy. I don't know if I should trust you, but for some reason I want to trust you. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. Hey, I take it you're a big true. fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Hey, it suits you. Uh, about my problem, what's the deal with the city? Yeah, yeah, what's the, what's the deal with the city? It Actually, I haven't seen shit, but yeah, what's up? Oh, no, wait. Something about madness in the city, I forgot. <laughs> what's up? Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and oh, this I didn't see that guy back packet here. ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. You saying the tides of fate doesn't... It, it, it doesn't make me feel better, man. Because uh, fate and Cthulhu and destiny and... It all has a weird way of meeting each other in the middle and then just fucking my whole life up. <laughs> um, yeah, what's up with the flood? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged oh, for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? By the looks of it, it does give it a quite nice atmosphere. I mean, the rain, it, it really gives it that fisherman place which I kind of like I don't know in a weird way a fishing hamlet kind of spot it actually I don't know it, I like the vibe of it I don't know why maybe I'm a maybe I'm a deep one you said you know someone who can help me with my problem the visions have been getting worse such vividness of dreams crazy is dark. not uncommon here in Oakmont by chance the man I spoke of Robert Throgmorton is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate. Sorry, it's just issue. moving my mic a bit closer. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. 
Where is this Robert Throgmorton you speak of? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need someone to actually know what's Mr. Throgmorton like. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Creature? Scion of a robust bloodline. C creature. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous. He's telling me that's just your way of a man of great ambition. Referring to humans. Even greater ego. Do not make him wait. All right, and uh, what about me staying somewhere? I'm not gonna. I don't think um, I can sleep on the ship. Uh, even though it looks cozy, and I wouldn't mind it. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds oh, wow. <laughs> charming. It does sound Don't quite charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Alright. Alright, I won't. Um... Yeah, what's your deal? What do, you, what do you do here? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moss kind of cool. drawn to it play. So like so a... Really have much of a market for philosophy these days. <laughs> there is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Fair enough. Right, and yeah, um, I guess how do I get to Devil's Reef and I guess already anywhere in this city if it's flooded? Do I like... I guess I don't go in the water? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by oh, okay, so we got a boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. This guy's Still really, really nice. The Devil's oh. Reef. Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Well, thank you very, very much. What else did you mark on the map? Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. <laughs> Mr. Vanderberg, I can assure you that I'm the greatest pri private eye you've ever s s s Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Skate. <laughs> That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Damn, you're oh, so nice. I want to trust you. How can I get in touch and with I think you I later? do. Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds... And all that trust just went flying out the window. <laughs> map. Alright, yeah. Hey, look at that map. Look at that cool map. Hey, hey. Hey, wow, there's like two hospitals here. Hmm. So... Oh, that's zooming in. It's a big city. I expected a lot more hospitals. But, uh, I'm not a judge. I forgot to talk to you. Now get out! Well, I guess there goes my, um, suggestion of, uh, spending time on the ship, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this game. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna, gonna take in my surroundings for a bit. So cool. All the barnacles everywhere. And, like it's half broken down and everything. That's so cool. You know what this reminds me of? Um, in Bloodborne. What was that DLC's name? The Old Hunter. It's the fucking only DLC. <laughs> Bloodborne. The Old Hunter's DLC. That reminds me of the little fishing hamlet that you go to before you before you fight the Orphan of Cos. You, you like the the area before that's the little fishing island place. Reminds me of that, and I love that area. It's like my favorite places in Bloodborne. I don't care about your petty excuses. Ooh. No one leaves the, the port that until guy. my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles ah, Reed. Ah, so you are a creature. <laughs> investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, 
Perhaps we can help each other. Or you want me to find your son? Is that what happened? <laughs> before we start, Mr. Thugmorton, before we go any further. Why do you look like that? <laughs> give the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and right, powerful sorry. blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Hey, you know. Like Mr. Jan has told me, don't judge a book by its cover, and I think this is what he meant by that. So I'm going to go through this whole thing without judging any book by its cover. In this case, it has a very bad cover, then I'll open that book and read it and come to a conclusion that it's a terrible book. I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> what do you know about uh, the visions? Um, yeah, what's up with your son? What happened to him? Are you quite missing? Did you run away? Does he hate you? If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? I'm a private, I'm a private eye, bro. Well, like I said, I'm a PI. There we go. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Damn. Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Innsmouthers. I know what that they are as well. Uh, I believe Innsmouthers are. They're like a mixed breed between humans and deep ones, which. Deep ones are these like undersea creatures that are that serve Cthulhu, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it are. But anyway, in case I'm wrong, what are Innsmouthers or who are Innsmouthers? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth yes, to the ground. But oh, shit. Innsmouthers gone? Filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The poor. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Alright then. I guess we don't like the ins I don't mind the ins marvels. I've never met them before. They've, met ne <laughs> they've never done anything bad to me, so you know. Uh, it's left left to see. Hey, Mr. Throckmorton, you should, you, should, you should follow some words of Mr. Johannes van der Berg. I've heard you're the man to speak Don't to judge about your cover. visions. Yeah, what up with those visions, bitch? Hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a Bro, damn can, thing. I'll help you find your son. But yes. I hope you find your son. You help me with my dreams. Your dreams. How's that work? There we go. Hey, I can try and find Albert. Yeah, I'll help you find Albert, bro. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? I'm a private Throgmort eye. Throgmorton is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds yeah. like you could use every man you can get. Fair, Fair enough. You have a point, newcomer. Vera. <laughs> I think I'm Charles. I can read this guy's mind. Vera? Sorry, did you just say Vera? Maybe I'm just confused to see You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera yeah. means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. 
<laughs> I like his little his little hand gesture that he does. <laughs> I see. Thank you. It's like a little force mind wipe. Um Yeah, tell me more about the case. What am I getting myself into? How old is Albert? Wait, what, what's what's his favorite colour? Does he does he like yellow? <laughs> I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane. Did you not listen at all? What the fuck does I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Alright, uh, where is this house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. What? You're standing right in front of it. How the hell was I supposed to know? And what does Dara or whatever the hell has said mean? And who's Kay? Can I have a dictionary for this place, please? You mentioned a lifeboat. Oh, is that right behind me? Around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Then I'll be off. Thank you for having me, Mr. Thor Morton. And, um, very mean. But I appreciate that. And I don't want to trust you, but at the same time, I want to trust you. I think that's going to be a downfall of me in this playthrough. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, bye. Mr. Thor Morton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Yeah, okay. Totally, man. Totally. Okay, so this is the house, eh? Alright. Yeah, so I read about this as well. This apparently is a vision thing you can go into, and that sign is glowing. So I also read up a bit about the game. Apparently the sign means that these doors are kind of open for you to go into. So, yeah. Top flashlight. Ooh. Oh, fancy. What do we have here? Fish. More fish. More fish. <laughs> I've solved the case. Albert was killed by a fish. Maybe I should keep the flashlight on. I don't know. Does it help? I guess it helps a bit. Can I walk in this game? Like, okay, I can like lightly walk if I just push the analog stick forward a slight bit. Well, there's enough light in here, so I don't really need it. Oh, he hello, gentlemen. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Alright, just you wait, mum bitch. Yeah, fuck you. What's this? There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Through this hole, I'm guessing. Alrighty, makes sense. So someone tried to flee the area. What's up? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. Yeah, I'm That's better than okay. the police. I'm Charles Reed, right guy. Yeah. Mr. Throg Morton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Well, first off, who the fuck are you? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. I was out of starve. So an Innsmouth was involved. Oh. God, I can already see where this is going. <laughs> um, tell me, tell me what happened. Yeah, what exactly happened? I got one side of the story. Actually, I got no side of the story. Mr. Thogmorton just knows his kids did. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Oh, 
Okay. My head began to burst, and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. A sleeping giant? Uh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Was that sleeping giant maybe a tentacle-faced bean? Because if so, then shit, we have a big problem. Yeah, who's K? Exactly. Um, Throgmorton also spoke about this K guy. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Okay. K is our lord. Our oh, light, oh. Our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, I guess we know who K is. Um. Yeah, you said they were. They, it was you and In's mother and some other guy. Who were they? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. So, Lewis and In's mother followed. Ah uh, man, is there gonna be like a fight? That's probably there, there. Probably is a fight that happened. Ah shit. <laughs> um, what happened to Paul? Paul died. I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll. Leave you to I'll uh, I'm gonna go solve this Take case. Care of yourself, Will. Please. Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or okay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. You and me both, brother. You and me both. Okay. Well, I guess that's Paul. Hi, Paul. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. Oh, Jesus, yeah. He was beaten to a pulp. You're telling me? Oh, okay. A little bar dropped. Oh! Uh, okay, so I guess that's sanity. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Yeah, no, no, there's nothing, there's nothing on your... There's nothing on your gloves, man, don't worry. You... You done? Maybe, maybe you just, uh, maybe you just wanted to get some new gloves. Or maybe we're just counting all his fingers out there. <laughs> I mean, insanity makes you do weird stuff, man. Anyway, that's in this box. Metal scrap. Is there crafting in this game? Inventory. Oh, there is. Ooh, okay. Choo choo. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> choo choo. Choo choo indeed, man. Choo choo indeed. Oh, what's this? Wait, I, I got that already. There was a I? fierce fight here. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Someone tried to flee. Okay, I got that already. Five cards short of a full house. Ah, damn, man. Could have freaking flushed that guy. So, I'm surprised approach. they don't have someone's portrait here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on Poker Works. It's in this room. So, that's what an in's mouther looks like. Hmm. Well, I can't really make out a decent face from that picture, but hey, I'll take your word for it. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Yeah, man, sometimes you gotta drink when you gotta drink, bro. That's nice, nice knife, though. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Yeah. Looks dope. Like the scales on it. Alright, what else? What? Mind's eye. Press to activate for more information. Well, it's nothing to do with this locket. Oh, this is aura around me. It's like this weird thing. So it's going to my vision mode, which I guess is now called, which I guess was always called mind's eye. Like, what is it? Oh. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's not cool. Uh-huh. Well, okay then. That looks bad. But I think I go through it. This is, if I, if I remember correctly, this is <laughs> this is the uh, part where you reconstruct the crime scene. Because I, uh, yeah, okay, I think this, I read up some stuff, I think, yeah, this is where you reconstruct the crime scene, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so where do we start? Oh, there's one in here, let's start here then. <gasps> What's happening? So, I guess they saw him like floating here and they got started and ran out. Okay, what's the second one? Take this, ape face. <laughs> okay, so. That guy shot at him. But looks like there was a fight that broke up between these two separate guys. So shit, maybe you did kill Polo. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. And it would have taken tremendous force to knock this down. Holy shit, this guy was like climbing on it. Oh, so I got a piece of together. Okay, well, this seems easy enough, so. He woke up, number one, and they got startled by it. What's happening? And then a fight broke out. Take this, ape face. <laughs> he got shot and tried to escape. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Oh, okay, that, that's just in my head. Nothing to worry about. It's just in my head. Don't worry, man, there's nothing behind you. Well... My head! I still hear those voices. Well, you might have killed those guys. Alright, so you see how that's green? That means I found all evidence there, and of course the all evidence thing popped up. But here, I have not yet found all evidence. But there's something in the mind palace that I can make. So the mind palace is where you kind of put all those things together, and you come to a conclusion, I believe. Okay, let's start. Uh, Albert attacked the fisherman. Uh, Throgmorton, Innsmouth of Feud. Uh, I would say sudden... Psychiatric, a uh, sudden psychotic outbreak. Not. Alright then. <laughs> Never mind. Um, Albert fled when wounded. Albert, Albert returned unstable. One fisherman is missing. Albert Fleurbaud attacked the fisherman at their house as soon as he regained consciousness. Albert returned unstable. Yes. Our Throgmorton was dangerous and um, posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Alright. Um, then... Throgmorton in some feud. And Lewis was an in so he shot without warning. So he probably hates the Throgmortons and was probably scared that they was going to attack him because there's a feud going on. I'm pretty sure these two mix up for some reason. There we go. As an ends mother, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. There could be a reason to hate them. So, yeah, just out of nowhere, bang, bang. Okay, fair enough. Um, Albert returned unstable, sudden psychotic outbreak. Yeah, there we go. Albert spread hysteria around him. So Albert made people crazy around him. One fisherman is missing. Albert fled when wounded. Yeah, those won't mix up with each other. I don't think so. I can try, but I'm very much... They just don't make sense that they won't mix with each other. Oh, shit, they do. <laughs> okay, good thing I checked. 
Albert and this fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight back in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Albert fled the wounded. Okay. But I still haven't found everything in this house yet. Nice. Oh shit, there was a door here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, guys, I didn't miss anything. I literally realized soon after I said I was going to cut the video. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Something more supplies? It appears so. Hello. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Hey, all evidence collected. Yay! Now I'm done. Alright, let's go to case books. Oh yeah, so this one is struck down. So you can pin evidence, and you can also place evidence on the map where you think it is. So for instance, if it was here, you could pin it there, and then you'll have to go follow it. So it's cool that the game doesn't give you any waypoints at all, which I think is pretty cool. But anyway, um, I believe that supernatural power is used for... I gave you clear okay. instructions. Okay, I could just talk to you again. So let's see what these people have to say. Oh. Oh, hello. I guess I'll follow you guys. You guys seem nice. Oh, there's something here. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Says I'm still going to this. Why are you worshipping that? Man, I am one weird dude. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I can barely make that in real life. Not to mention me being unwounded. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. So it's this way. Yeah, there they are. Hello. Yeah, so it's in. Okay, guess it's in here. Aha. Uh -huh. The warehouse. Oh, what's this? That seems like a piece of a jacket. Uh, there's something in the pocket. Lewis, please just give me more, oh, one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port, oh, with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with um, the other, uh, with people, uh, with proper people, and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. Oh, so it looks like someone owed someone some money. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Huh. Interesting. So it means I'm at the right place. Oh, supplies. Can I make some more weapons? I can. Ooh, nine. Still can't make medical. Well, let's hope I won't need it. Just like the gun. Oh, upstairs, does that lead to? Oh. Does it lead to where I think it leads? Ow. Yeah, okay, it's just a big round circle. That's a weird place for something to lead to, but okay. I guess that door up there can open. I guess it's transport? Probably what it is. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's just a glass. Hey, can I have more gun <laughs> more weapons? No, I can't need shell casings. Padlocks. Oh, I know what to do with padlocks. Yeah, I read that in the tutorial. Oh. Why? <gasps> oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, God, get my fucking gun out.
You guys saw that, right? <laughs> I saw something squirming in the in the corner, bottom corner. Oh, I think I, I think I hear it. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. I think it saw me. I think it saw me. Oh, oh, reload you motherfucker! Reload! Oh my god! Oh, why am I missing? Why am I missing? Why the fuck am I missing? Oh! <laughs> let's, uh... Let's ignore the fact that I almost missed every single shot. <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck was that? Holy shit, where did it run into? Oh there's another one. Ew. Alright. Oh, okay, that room made me insane, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I gotta gotta take a better look at that. Fatal round through oh, the hello. Forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Yeah, has to be. Key evidence collected. It is all evidence collected. That is the real question. Oh, where else was there to collect anything from? I don't see anything in here. This place is still making me insane. I'll I'll head to the mine palace now, guys. I just wanna just wanna find that last bit of evidence that I'm missing. Wait, wait a minute. Oh no, wait, that's green. Oh no, I got all evidence here. Okay, never mind. Like this place, then. Get out of here. All right, Albert was murdered. Uh, would pair up with Lewis left the crime scene. Never mind. It would pair up with Albert fled when wounded. No, <laughs> okay, it, it doesn't pair up with any of those. Uh, Lewis pursued Albert. Um, Lewis pursued Albert after he fled and continued to shoot at him. I would be with Albert fled when wounded. Yes, Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton, but then then just drive him off. True, could be. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. And he left the grand scene. Which means he's hiding at the bar? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Lewis is an Inns Malware that killed Albert Throgmorton. Um, he may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. Alright. Oh, well, where is that? Oakmont Port. That's Oakmont Port, isn't it? Guess we're heading there. Well, it's an anchor. I'm, I'm assuming it's a port. Now I want to pin it. There we go. I'm assuming it's a port. What's in here? Oh, supplies. Didn't even notice. What? Was there any supplies in there? I didn't get a thing that popped up about you collected supplies. What's this? Oh, skills. Oh. Cool. Alright, let's get out. Um, should I tell... Should I tell him that his kid's dead? Oh. That I took four damage from that? Jesus, okay. I should probably. Oh, hello! Uh, it okay, gross, never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> what up? Your, your son's dead, by the way. <laughs> Just outright, your son was murdered. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. Yep, that was intentional. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. I mean, I can no. show the body. Uh, <sighs> no, I'm not just going to say I've done my part. I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences, Mr. Thorgmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. I mean, so yeah. much of our blood spilt for nothing, so much effort in vain. My poor Albert. 
Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes, make him beg for mercy. Well, it might be Lewis. I've, I've got a, I've got a lead that it might be him. It seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis, it is then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a Throgmorton. Bring me that dirtbag, Lewis. He and I are do a <coughs> oh, Sorry, guys. Do this for me, and, and I'll guys. help you with anything you need. Anything? Well then, say no more, because I have, uh, I think I know where he is. He's at a bar. Can I run in this game? No. Okay, that's a skunk. Okay, at least you guys are normal. At least you guys aren't. Under the kill bar. Yeah, I found the bar. Oh, this is probably at the bar. <laughs> I'm probably at the back. <laughs> let's, let's head to the front. Sorry, I got... That's so sidetracked about me wanting to climb a giant ladder. What's the bar? I want to see what these guys are up to, though. What up, guys? The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Alright, alright, fair enough, I see you, I see you. Hey man. How are you? You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. That's a cool skill you have there, Billy. Talking while drinking. You must be friends with those people in Skyrim. Ah yes, the sound of people gulping down alcohol. My favorite. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Just that you saw that loudly, Jesus. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Oh hell yeah, brother. I've seen them. I wonder if Thor Morton was there and say about that though if I want to ask him. Yeah, probably not. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Welcome to Under the Kill. What do you want? <laughs> First of all, I want a drink. Second of all, I need to find Lewis. Actually, yeah, I've seen some unsettling creatures. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are. But consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for <coughs> us. Oh, sorry. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember. Hey, now we're talking. Better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Hey man, brave and stupid is in my name. I hope. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Uh, you want him gone, I can help. You're harboring a criminal. Yeah, you, you, you're in debt to him, aren't you? As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Yeah. Flynn. Trouble is, I wonder I if I didn't pick up that pocket note, or well, that Son pocket note uses that so thing. Seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Drock. That would explain. I'm guessing Drock means Fine. damn. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So, he's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with them once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. <laughs> I like this guy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> okay. I haven't talked to you about your deal. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, 
It's so clear. Your path holds many <coughs> surprises, newcomer. <laughs> Nonsense. Do tell. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, ah, but of I'll course. tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. Jesus, okay, fuck After hey, the I'm flood, poor. Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. All right, then. One bullet it is. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And and tall pillars circled by the dead. Oh, okay. A race fun. from one to the next as time itself laughs. That made no sense, but I appreciate that. I'll keep I'll you know I'll I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> God you damn it, I am Charles welcome. Reed. I can't wait to see what you do. I am Charles Reed. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, as I was saying, I wonder if I didn't pick up that pocket um that pocket um shirt pocket, if I wouldn't have been able to say that. Huh, well, just another reason to collect every single evidence in every single room I go in. Hey, what, up? what the get them oh. Get my new thing when I wake up. Get the what the? Oh, 